Yeah. Yeah, okay, this is this, these are my pimping rides. This is this is my first pimping ride. Spend all the bling bling. Got a pin of gold. Just you watch. So this is uh well uh, just a quick overview. Uh, we've driven for how many hours? Too many. Too many hours. We finally got down here. This is what we picked up. This is shipped over from America. This is a Ford Explorer, 1993, I'm pretty sure. I think it's a 993. Um, they only made this in, a, in America, so it's only left wheel drive. So I couldn't get it in the UK. Unlike that, which is the Jeep Wrangler. Yeah, that's a 1995 Jeep Wrangler. It looks gorgeous the way it is. And so many people are going to kill me if I paint it. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to have a quicker overview of these um, vehicles and tell you with the modifications that I'm going to be doing to them and have done so far to turn them into the Jurassic Park uh, Jeeps and vehicles because that's what they are. If you haven't realized, these two are that's the Land Cruiser and this is the Jeep Wrangler. So, first off, each one of them takes a BF Goodridge all terrain TAs KO. Uh, there is a group on Facebook and YouTube the Jurassic Park motor pool who are very helpful and you can find it all out online and I had to change the uh, rims so these are the OEM rims uh, the only thing is the middle caps were really crap because <laughs> these again had to well these had to come from America and the uh, the inner center caps were absolutely scratched a bit so that kind of sucked um, so I had to get two of those well four of them and there's another one coming for the extra um, spare wheel that goes on the back and this is the hard top right now the hard top uh, in the movie, they don't have it. I think they have a soft top. Uh, going on to the back, I had to change the fittings because I don't know if it's just an English Jeep Wrangler modification or whatnot. If you come around here, you can see the old fitting. It was actually quite big. Like there, you can see where it was. So I've had a new fitting put on, new holes drilled, and these are KC uh, LE series uh, 45010 lights. So these are the right ones from the movie. People who know what they're looking at will really appreciate that because these are 20 years old and they are literally brand new. I managed to find a seller from um, Saudi Arabia even who had never taken them out of the box, ever. So if you look, really carefully, look at that, look at that, look at that. No rust, not a single rust. That's quality, quality finish. Uh, the other thing we added to the back was the rear bumperettes. It took me ages to find out what these were called. I was like, I was like, rear hoops? But uh, we managed to find them. Um, as you can see, we'll take a little look on the interior. Um, I'm going for the number 18 Jeep, which is the one from um, where they meet the, Drac the Dracosaur, the Brachiosaur. So these seats are, I think, maybe a shade lighter than the actual ones in the movie. But I'd, honestly, I don't care. They're the right sort of uh, looking. Where's they are? These are full doors. We're going to need half doors, um, so eventually we'll have to get them. But as of, as of now in England, you have rain, horrible weather, so a hard top is actually best. Uh, also, I've added a soundboard, a soundbar. Sorry, it's not the right one from the movie, but the right one only has two speakers and no lights in the middle. So if I was going to have this, I was like, you know what? Why not just get a good one? <laughs> so this has six speakers. This is actually broken at the moment. <laughs> So there's no sound comes out of that, but we're looking into that. Uh, again, with the rear fog lights, to have them as a separate switch, it's illegal. But if you hook them up to your rear, view, rear uh, reversing lights, you're golden. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. It is an automatic, and I get a lot of jip for that. I wouldn't mind if it was a manual, but this one came in automatic, and it was in really good condition. Again, all the dials work. They're great. Uh, the only thing is that sun visor is a little bit broken, but if that's the biggest problem, it's not really a problem. Uh, as for modifications, um, I don't have the fog lights that go in the front yet. Uh, they're coming, and this ball bar is going to have to be taken off. Um, and these don't actually work. And I've just we squished a lot of flies on the way here, and I just touched one. Find a winch because there's actually a I think it's a Ramsey Rep 6000 that goes on here, but uh, they're illegal according to EU law. Uh, but eventually, um, we're going to have to have that on. The, this is actually um, screen accurate, this antenna. Would you believe some people who know the look now, they'll find that this is like, yeah, that's the right one. I did try to plasti dip it, but I didn't wash it first, so it's starting to peel off, that's my bad. An antenna, a CB antenna that drills in here, which I do have, but I haven't done it yet, because I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> but it goes there, and it runs all the way up, all the way up and round to the front, and it connects here. Now in the movie, there's nothing connecting it at all, so I might just have like some sort of zip or a cable or something like that um, that I might get into. And of course the light bar, which is a bar that sort of runs up here and goes around. They're not made anymore, really rare to find. 
Um, and I think there's someone in America on the Jurassic Park motor pool who's doing them. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be getting that. But this right now is my drive around car. Um, it's a Jurassic Park Jeep in disguise, basically. Let's move on to the Ford Explorer. <coughs> this guy, we brought a pickup about six months ago, I think it was. Was it longer? Less than that. It was six months ago. And guess what? It wasn't working. It's, it's uh, ECU broke. So we, we came all the way down, broke. And then, it, and then we had to come back down. It's fixed now. But anyway, uh, yeah, I had to put the right, um, again, same DF Goodrich all-terrain TAs. Uh, the, I had to put the right rims on. Thankfully, this was in America, so I could get everybody sh everything shipped to the, um, the supplier who sold it to me, and he fitted it all on, which is a really good job. Cherokee Automotive Group, it's great. Sponsored. So uh, the inner caps as well, I had to find and put them on. Uh, this will get peeled off. This is just a thin strip of vinyl, which um, you can see, just like sort of clip that off. EU standard, so these have to be added on. Uh, side lights. The same with this this Jeep. Uh, the Jurassic Park ones don't have this, but again, EU law requires that you have this. Makes it look ugly, but it's, it's, it's what you gotta do. The running boards that actually go along the bottom, which I haven't tracked down, but I have got a very close uh, look-alike, are actually in the boot of this now. We've brought them all the way here from there. That's what's left, a little dent in the dashboard. So they're gonna be put on. Uh, I'm not too sure about the top yet. I, at the moment, if it gets painted, I'll be pretty happy. Let's move on to the inside, let's go. So it's looking really good. Um, one thing that saw me about this one was just how like mint sort of condition the uh, furniture was. The front seat has got a bit of cracks, which does kind of suck, but uh, it, can't, it can't be helped. I mean, it's what, over 20 years old and it's leather. So if it's used a lot, it's going to be cracked. Uh, luckily, the Jeep Wrangler had only done 70,000 miles. So I think this has done a little bit more. Also, there's a rear pulley thing here that covers the, uh, the boot. I can't remember what you call it, but that goes all the way to the back um, and covers it. And this came with it, which is a really good uh, handy thing um, to tr just that it was in there. So I didn't have to track it down and uh, ship it over. And see here, this is the running board, <laughs> which was huge. But actually in the Explorer, it fits perfectly fine. This is, that was the running the width or the length, sorry, of the interior of the Jeep. So you can see just how much bigger this is. So this is the famous car. This is gonna be the number four. We've got some cracking here, but this you can find find um, if you just track it down online so it's not too bad and again this isn't going to be painted this stuff it's it's this this gets painted so as long as this is okay that's fine when I was in America I managed to track down the right rear guards which are impossible um, but I, I didn't want to wait for the guy to come out of the shopping center and be like are you so I'm just gonna wait there's somebody um, who's part of the motor pool who's wanting to create replicas for the front guard especially too so when he makes them i'm going to put them on too but yeah i think overall it's it's really good it, i'm glad it plumbing works for a start but what's really cool about the chairs and i'll show you is that they have these pumping oh oh hear that maybe the car has to be on no you see it's like what's it doing it's actually pumping this up um and then that lets out the air so you can't hear it but it's like slowly as this pumps it up uh, you've got these as well. So it's actually electronic for 1993. This is actually really good. So it moves up, backwards, forwards. It's plumbing amazing, this thing. I'm really impressed with it. Uh, the carpet's really good. Um, now the dashboard is an interesting thing because if you want the right Jurassic Park one, you need two dashboards and cut them in two. Basically, you have this side here and this you get with the other dashboard. You can chop that in two and replicate it over there. Problem is, it doesn't have dials. So there's been a lot of people finding ways around it. Again, because this is England, America's really lenient with the things you can do with cars. Chop it in half, you can still drive it. <laughs> so I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with that. Um, as long as I like fit maybe the rear, like take this out eventually down the line and put the rear TV in there. Um, I've already sort of made the um, Binoculars, that was, oh, sorry, it's like the camera. I'll put a pictures, but the camera that's in there. I've made a lot of props already, so while I've been waiting for this to come, we've been having some fun. Now here, this is the antenna. This comes out and you put a bull lamp on here, which I've already got in the, in the boot of the car. Um, and these are all things that I should be telling the people who are gonna paint it. So yeah, now we're gonna drive another long drive. And uh, it's, almost, it's completely out of petrol. Gas, it's out of gas. So we're gonna head off. That's a wasp trying to get in the Jeep. See that? See that wasp? That's been following us. 
All the way. All the way, that wasp. I don't know if you can see it. Look at him. Look at him. Get it, get it, get it close. This is a little wasp. Come on, you see him? See him? He's followed us all the way from Newcastle. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, here we are in the uh, Ford Explorer 993. Now, I already know the question that a lot of you guys are going to ask, and that is, but Beaver, you had a Jurassic Park car. Why did you get another one, you idiot? Well, I actually sold that one. Boo! You stink! It wasn't the right make as well. You'll notice if you look at this one, it's very rectangular on the head, whereas the other one was very rounded, and that's because it's a Mark II. This is a Mark I. The only difference between this car and the actual Jurassic Park cars is that this is a 1993 and they were 1992s, and this has better brakes. So I just wanted to say that because I forgot to mention it at all, that a lot of you guys would um, be like, wait, why? What about the other one? And a lot of you do say, what happened to it? Uh, but I ended up getting rid of it because it was it was too much of a drain on money. Because <laughs> it, it it had problems and in the end it just wasn't financially viable to keep it. So instead, I decided to go for this one. This one's in far better condition. Uh, it's left-hand drive, so already it's accurate to the movie. Uh, I like the Wrangler, but I'm not asked about that. If I've got to be honest, uh, it's also. Because it's left-hand drive, I'm hiding behind this truck. Because <laughs> I'm getting used to where I have to be on the road. Because, I mean, I'm usually on that side. So, um, but I'm using the line to sort of keep me right. And I'm, I don't want to floor it either. The brakes are incredibly sensitive in this. Uh, I, like, so much so that I came to a screeching stop by accident when I was in the parking lot. Like, whoosh! Um, in comparison to the Jeep. So, it's very gentle with these. Um, in fact, we've accidentally broken. Well, we, we lowered the back window and now it doesn't open. I mean, it doesn't close anymore. It just does this. It's not even responding anymore. I love, I love, I didn't even realize, but look in that wing mirror. What does it say? Objects in mirror are closer than they appear. <laughs> that's beautiful. I want my Jeep Wrangler to say that because that's a classic scene. Where T-Rex is like after them and, and it says that, oh man. Um, and a few weird things are it's it's gear change, it's not down here, there's nothing down here. It's this. You lift it towards you and then up and down, you crank it. A lot of Americans will find that normal, but for uh, us us Brits and Europeans, we're all down here. So it's weird to <laughs> handbrake especially is uh, is like a thing you pull up. Uh, usually I think it is now, but it's actually down here, you actually push it push it in and then pull it to release it. It's just straight down here by, by me sparrow legs. But I mean, as a whole, it's it's really quiet. Really nice drive. Um, I'm not as nervous as I was the first time I took the, uh, the 1997 out, because that was literally the only other car I drove apart from my Daihatsu, uh, which is gone by the way. A lot of people said in my Pokemon Go video, Oh my god, I feel sorry for Beavers, he has such a crap car. <laughs> Even I have a better car than Beavers. Uh, hey, that thing was amazing. I don't want any word, bad word said about it. It was great. But I did sell it because I was like, okay, it's it's MOT's due, blah, 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 all this stuff. And I didn't, I was thinking, what do I want after it? And of course, I want a Jeep. I want the Jurassic Park Jeep. And I was lucky to find one in this country um, because I was like, no, don't make, because this was imported from Georgia. It's from um, Savannah, that's right, it's from, it's from sunny Savannah. So it doesn't have much rust on it, um, which is great. I've had the, uh, the undercarriage of it, so the, the underneath of the car, um, silicon coated with paint that doesn't allow it to rust. It's like some special coat that, um, ship by car, paint spot, it's just ship, ha <laughs> ha! Not really, wish it was. We filled it up with uh, 50 quid. Uh, which is about 48 liters, I think it is, probably a little bit less, probably 45, and it's not full at all. So from empty, it's about 60 quid. It's a lot of money. So it's a four liter engine. In fact, both of them are. We had to fill up the Jeep engine twice, I think I've already said. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's pretty fun. And it's quite top of the range, you know. Electronic chairs that pump up. I think there's lumbar support. That's a thing. Expecting by the time we get to which is the bottom of the country. We've driven basically from the north of the country to the bottom of the country now. Um, by the time we get there, we'll probably have to fill up once more and uh, we should be good. And we'll say bye-bye to this thing and uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm below the speed limit. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I was like, oh god, camera. Um, but uh, next time we see it, it should be all painted. And then we drive it all the way back up north. All the way back up north. Uh, I don't know whether we're going to be staying in a hotel tonight or whether I'm going to be up to driving all the way back. I mean, the way I am, I feel like I could right now. And because it would be, you know, nine o'clock-ish at night, so it would be dark, it'll be uh, another camera. I'm good. It'll be, um, like, no traffic on the road, so there won't be a problem because on the way down, there was so much traffic. So uh, I, may, I might do that. We'll see how I feel. But yeah, join it. And uh, let's go. Let's do this. Ba -na 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 -na. Dun, 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 dun. So we're here in Jurassic Park, as you can see, lots of trees and lots of ferns. We went through a really nice bit, um, there was, it was like the Dilophosaur exhibit, so where it was like trees over the top of you, it was gorgeous. So I was like, oh, we're looking around. <laughs> so we've been driving for, oh God, over three hours now, in total, probably like seven or eight hours. It's been ridiculous, uh, but we're almost there. Almost gonna drop this place, uh, this place, gonna drop it off at the place for it to get painted. Um, and then we won't see it for another month and a bit. And then we'll have to drive it all the way back. Uh, we're still two miles away, we're gonna uh, take a hotel. I think I could probably drive uh, all the way back. I, I, I will, if I do that, I will have literally driven down the entire country and halfway back up. That's from Scotland, probably, as well. And uh, I've gotten used to where I need to be on the road. I've been doing the overtakings and everything's. I've been doing goods. So, uh, yeah. Bye! There we go. Wow. Okay, so it is... If I just have a check... It is now 11.38. We've just came back. We've dropped off the, um... Ford Explorer. Um... And it was, uh, Absolutely knackered. Uh, we're gonna have to do this again. Well, sort of. We're just gonna take a train down and then drive all the way back up. Constant journey. I'll tell you what, this thing is terrible on petrol in comparison to the Ford Explorer. It's so much better. Even though they're both four liter engines. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, somebody said they wanted me to do a review on this, but I, I mean, it's just a little short video. <laughs> No, just me, senpai lines. Uh, yeah, um, so I just wanted to make a quick video just like, showing what we were doing because I know some people are curious and uh, maybe you're one of those people. Now you know what I'm doing. So we're going to start the four hour long drive home, which is probably going to get us in at about three. Half three in the morning, possibly four. And I've got to drive, so I'm driven all the way here, driven all the way down, <laughs> and I'm driven all the way back again. <laughs> Kill me. But anyway, yeah guys, uh, I'm gonna do that. Um, probably gonna stop in at services or in a cheeky McDonald's or Burger King late at night. Something so cool about you when you're an adult, you're like, oh, I shouldn't be having this at night. So if you enjoyed the video, I mean, it's, there you go. See you later, bye.